everyone, Molly here. Welcome to my channel. And tonight I'm going to do a show and tell. I um, am not one to normally use digital prints. Um, I like old books. I like cutting them up. I like finding old paper, that kind of thing, um, to make my projects on. And um, so I don't normally print digital kits. But I have a friend that I met years ago through her Facebook page, and um, um, she has an Etsy shop that has so many digital prints that, I mean, I can go in there and then I just, I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> so, um, I did um, get one, and... So I wanted to see what I could make with it so that the paper showed because a lot of projects that I make, I'm tearing up the paper, small bits and pieces and you can't see the paper. So I was trying to figure out what can I make where the paper would actually show. And I think this worked because when I come into my craft room, then I see it and I think it looks really pretty. So um, let me share with you first. So, all right, if you can see it, I hope there's not too much of a glare. Uh, Tracy Vanover is her name, but her Etsy shop is F Pop, and she's got digital prints, printables, paper, clip art, SVGs, and craft kits. So, tons and tons and tons of items. So, 1,874 items. I just saw this when I pulled up her page. That looks really cute. So, a lot of the digitals have either a tags for cutouts or like little file folders, things like that, that come with the printable. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys could see it because of the glare, but I'm going to try to hold it this way. But anyway, let me show you the name again. It's F Pop and uh, Tracy Vanover. And also go over to her YouTube channel. I'll link that below also. She does different collaborations and she uses um, her kits or she's doing like a makeover as a collaboration. You can watch those videos. So go over and um, show her some love and um, follow her YouTube channel as well. She's so fun. She's funny. She's got this I don't know, awesome wit about her that I just love. She is a Halloween fanatic like some of the rest of us. So you definitely want to go over and check out her um, her channel and also her Etsy shop. So look at this beautiful green. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I really want you to go over and just look at all the items in her shop. So there's just so many to pick from. And the one I have, and I've already cut up mine, so I wouldn't... Um, be able to show you like what it looked like before because I didn't become that prepared so um let me quit stuttering here and tell you so go over and check out Tracy's page and her YouTube channel so I don't know last year a couple of years ago I used to do Tag Tuesday with Sherry a turquoise dreamy and Susan at Susan Hiles art and so this is one of the tags I made and it's still that's why I still have it one of my favorites and I just used a manila tag, actually a couple of them because the other parts is the tag turned sideways. So this one had like a really matte finish, like a chalky finish. And so that's why I like to use the white marker on there. So anyway, when I was trying to think about what I could make, I thought, well, why don't I just make another one like this. So, so, the papers that I have are beautiful yellow roses and just a little cutouts. Um, you can see the bees on here. And now, I took one of the pages and I blew it up so I could fussy cut around the bee, and but it came out so cute. And so this I've just wrapped around here. So, it could just be a closure. And so I've tied it, but all I have to do is just move the string to one side and then it opens. So here, um, one of the pages is this green stripe. So I covered the tag with that. And so all I did was cover a tag, um, the bottom tag, and then I just folded over one of the tags this way. 
And I trimmed it a little bit so it would fit better, so it would open and close better. And then I turned the other one this way. And this one, I didn't do much on the back because I wasn't sure if I'm going to glue it into a book or not. So, um, but anyway, that's how the mechanics part, that's how I came up with that. And then the string I tied and then I wrapped it. And then when I tied the knot, I was like, oh my gosh, now I can't open it, but I can. So, all right. So then on the inside flap, now this right here is one of the cutouts. Um, this I just had oh here, so I put that on there. Um, so you can see the green striped paper again. And then this was one of the little cutouts she had. This is also a part of one of the cutouts. And then the flowers, I just cut out parts of the flower to kind of fill in that space a so little bit. You can see the really pretty paper in the background. Now, I in my printer had just a generic um, ink. Just trying it out, seeing if I liked it. It lasted forever, but it wasn't great. But mostly what I do is print labels for my eBay store. So it's been okay, right? So when I printed these, I thought, oh my gosh, I hope it comes out okay. I do have the regular HP ink. And so when I get my next kit, um, I'm sure it will print clearer. But um, but you can see how beautiful the design is with these. I love these yellow roses here and little bees. Here is another and then one of the cutouts that came with the kit. And I just backed it there with the paper. And then this little guy right here is the one that I fussy cut. And then I just put glossy accents on him so that he would um, kind of glisten kind of like 3D-ish kind of. Anyway, it's just a fun, different kind of tag to make. Of course, you know I always have to put white dots or dashes on there, but um, so anyway, I love the paper. You have to go in there and her shop and look. And all of her prices are so good. I just can't believe it when I'm looking at them um, that that's, that's all that they are. So let me see if I can figure out how I did this. <laughs> wrapped it and wrapped it. And, <laughs> oh, I had it all figured out for you guys. Now I can't, let's see. This way, oh, this way, and then it tucks. There you go, tell you. I can figure out my own process there. So that's my little tag that I made with her paper. And there was a lot of different papers. There's not just these two papers in there, or printables, there's a lot. Um, I just printed those um, the night that I made these because I just loved the flowers and the little bees I wanted to try and fussy cut. So I still have papers um, that I can still use and make different things with. So um, when I finished this, I had bits and pieces left over. And um, so what I did was take one of my, um, it's a little composition book, but it's one of those half ones. Um, so, you know, they're smaller. And I just covered the front with it. Um, the frame is mine. Uh, not mine, but it didn't come in the kit. But um, this little cutout here came with the kit. This came with the kit. You can see the really pretty paper um, here on the back. So I wanted to cover something big so you could just see the paper because it's so pretty. This pink paper is part of the kit. And then I realized I never put anything in here. And what I would like to do is um, maybe blow up one of the bees put some more glossy accent on there, put him in the middle. I think that would be pretty. So the frame definitely needs something, but I didn't want to cover the paper either. So I just think it's so pretty. And then here you can see um, more of the green stripe. And then this also is one of the cutouts. And on my to-do list, I put buy a round uh, one inch hole punch because when I went to get mine out tonight, it didn't work. So I just threw it away and now I need to get another one. So, but, um, so that's why this is a little bit crooked here because I had to do it by hand when I thought I was just going to punch it. So, um, that kind of messed up right there. But anyway, I like it, but it's only because it's the paper, right? I always say in my projects that I didn't do it. The paper did it. And in this case, Tracy did it because she designs these kits and I've never seen one that I didn't like. They are all just fabulous. And there's so many to pick from. So um, if you love this paper, it's nice and springy or summery with the bees. We all love bees um, in all of our kits. So 
go over and check out her shop and I'm ready to do Halloween anyway um, these are my two um, I just wanted to show you guys and again I'm not normally one for printables but I absolutely just fall in love with her work and I thought it's just time <laughs> and she not too long ago started her YouTube channel and I really just wanted to help promote that. So I want you guys to go over and um, again, I'll put the link below, but just go over and check out her okay. channel. So the shop is F Pop on Etsy. Tracy Vanover is her name. And then you can find her on YouTube um, under that name as well. Um, I think it might be Tracy Vanover Designs. I'll have to look it up um, for sure. But um, anyway, you guys go and look at all her digital kits and um, everything on her Etsy shop. You won't be disappointed. I promise you're going to find so much on there to love. Um, and do me a favor. Go and show her some love on Etsy and on YouTube and um, you will be pleasantly surprised at how much fun she is. So thank you guys for joining me for our, my little show and tell here with my tag or I'm just going to display it right here in my room because I love it. So all right. Thank you guys for joining me and watching my project. And I will see you guys later in the next video. Bye.